用和讲得很对，就是天助自助啊。在大家听的时候，我刚才在听的时候，其实自己的话呢，要这个要挑战啊，自己要努努努力。但是呢，我觉得您特别的，就是说您愿意去挑战一个更高的目标。当然，您的这本书啊，叫做这个逆风无畏啊，你可以转过来给大家看一下，叫英文呢、啊，这书我已经看完了啊，大家这个这个可能还没有。叫做 fearless against the wind 啊，就是看了逆风而行，这逆风无畏。所以他在这个刚才这个听到大家听到他原来的这个只是一个小船员的时候，他就能够挑战这个二副我的这个是连跳舞级。然后呢，这同样的就是呃娶老婆啊，追女朋友也是一样，他只是农农家的青穷困的这个呃青年啊，但是他能够去觉得说，哎，我可以去追一个富家女啊。所以这个就是。没有什么这个不可能的这个事情。那同样的，在工作的时候，他也是去 seize every opportunity， 抓住这个机会。所以你自己要很努力，但是呢，你要挑战更高的目标啊！这是创办人刚给我们的启示啊。然后呢，你要有机会。那这个只要你很努力啊，那你又又能够 set 得更远大的这个机会的话，那这个事实上，这个这个这个运气就来。那我我另外有个感觉就是。可能觉得美美国，因为大家可以看到这个创办人是非常的 entrepreneurial， 其实他是有这种创新的这种创业的这样子的一个动机啊。这个在在美国这样子的环境，你很努力，那很有动机啊，很很创新啊，可能就更容易啊比较成功。我我另外呢，就还还有一个就这个小小的、啊，就是这个的分享，就是跟这个创创办人呐、啊，就是他刚才在提到的时候，觉觉觉得啊，就是说是这个。很亲切的小故事啊，就是他因为这个，我提到了在心啊，我我也是在心啊。我们那个叫我从我从幼稚园开始念到高中，我知道以恋赵小兰兰啊，在在心小学念了两年级啊。那我是在心高中啊，我们这个台大管理学院的院长胡信阳教授是我在心高中的同学啊，所以有这个在心的这个同班。那大家在看这个这个这本书啊，这个逆风无畏的时候啊。他又提到了这个小时候啊，他住在一个街啊，叫安东街。安东街在哪里？在跟和平东路，就在以前的在兴小学的旁边啊。那这个这个现现在还在啊，这个安东街很很短的一条一条街啊。所以我看到这个你们您父亲啊提到这个这些的这种经历啊，事实上是呃就想起了我我有很多的这种的 common background， 事实上是很感动。Anyhow, you know, so I I want to ask you, Angela, another question, you know, about um, you know, related with education, but now more about the environment. You know, since uh, Dr. Chow talk talk about the environment, you grew up in the States, you know, but uh, you you have your your dad and your your mom, you know, from originally from China, stay in Taiwan, and then the, uh, in the States. So it is really you know East me West, you know, the and. Uh, what strike me? I, I met many uh, Asian American, you know, the, the, the Americans, uh, many Asian American family. But uh, you are and your family, your sisters, is one of the very few that maintain the very good balance between the West and the East. You you still speak, uh, in my opinion, a very good Chinese, and then you have the traditional Chinese value. But on the other hand, you know, all of you, you are so excellent. You are really. Moving into the top, the elite, the 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 the, the, the uh, of the U.S. society, you know, the governor, uh, minister, you know, uh, chairman of American co company. So, how do you can maybe you can share a little bit with us? You know, how how do you grow up in a uh, East meets West? You know, I, I wonder. Recently, there is another very uh, outstanding uh, Taiwanese in the United States. His name is Andrew Yan. He's running for president. You know, the, I'm, I'm sure uh, your sister Elaine and probably you uh, know him. You know, he's only 44. You know, about your age. You know, but he he is uh, bold and uh, willing to take challenge. I read his uh, biography. You know, it's uh, the war on normal people. This is America's now Republican nominee, Taiwan man, 44 years old, called Yang Anzhe, and and his rating is constantly increasing. 这个也也也是我的问题，就是在在西方价值东方。So how do you feel, you know, about the the opportunity as a、uh, Taiwanese <coughs>、uh, family? Are、uh, you、uh, second generation grew up in the, growing up in the United States? And、uh, what's your feeling? What's the、uh, challenge? I, the, the book Andrew mentions say he, in his uh, uh, junior high school days he was discriminated and people. You know, make joke of him, make fun of him, blah blah blah. And it's a, it's a 
very hard, you know. But then you overcome. Not only you overcome, you you move into the mainstream, the U.S. society. So how did you achieve that? So perhaps you can share about this background and your fundo de lis, you know, and then and this sort of uh, balance, you know, you know, will share with us. Um, you're very kind to ask this question. I think that um, this credit, of course, has to go to my parents. Um, you know, my parents always raised us to remember our roots, remember our Chinese traditional values, to remember the history. I mean, my face is Chinese. I'm not going to change that. I can't fool anybody by pretending I'm white or Caucasian. So, did, well, did they send you to a Chinese language school, or, or you were just taught at home? Um, they did send us to Saturday school, Saturday Chinese school. But you know, my father's language is also his Shanghai accent. So we were very confused. 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 Um, so that is why when we were growing up, we didn't understand the differences. Um, now, of course, you know, we're much better about understanding that. But my parents always um, reminded us to remember our roots and that Chinese traditional values, history, culture would only make us stronger, not weaker, stronger. And that with deep Eastern philosophical values, this 5,000 years of history, um, we would have great strength if we learned it, if we understood it, and if we internalized it into ourselves. Because if, of course, America is a wonderful country, and we're incredibly grateful to have, um, you know, for my parents who have immigrated there, for me to be born there. I mean, I'm, I, I know I'm very blessed and lucky, but I also feel incredibly blessed and lucky to have a Chinese heritage and to have the. Um, my parents with these stories, I mean, they grew up with the backdrop of modern Chinese history. And to understand and see and hear, um, you know, my, my parents' lives where they dealt with um, epidemic, pestilence, civil war, foreign invasion. I mean, they lived through it all. All of these things, my father was just talking about Jinmen. And then he was also talking about the Yuan Zhang. The, you know, my father actually has this incredible memory. Even at 93 years old, he remembers these names. And he always remembers Guiren. And he always remembers, actually, these people that helped him along the way. And that's why he's so special. Because he remembers even things that other people don't remember doing for him. He still remembers. And it makes him feel blessed and fortunate and lucky. And it also inspires him to want to help other people in that same way. So that's why my parents always try to instill in us this sense of giving back and contribution back. So I think that there's a very nice um, combination. If you can combine East and West, you know, the West is so wonderful. It's young, it's optimistic, it's got this can-do attitude. Um, you know, because they don't have a lot of history, they can just kind of march forward and they don't understand always all of the background. And then with our Chinese history, you know, we have 5,000 years. So there's so much philosophical wealth and strength and wisdom there. So if we can combine the two, actually, we'll, 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 we